Hello, today we'll be looking at how we can deploy our BWC project into PCF. So we're going to open up Studio. I already have a sample project created. Open it up. It's a, just a simple REST project where I have two variables and I just typed in what the actual response will be. In this case, it's Bob for the name and California for the location. To actually export the or file, we go to sample project package unit overview, and we see that there's export application for deployment. So we click on that. That'll open up a pop up, which will tell us wh what the location of our year where we want to save it, and if we want to change the name, we can as well. So I'll hit create, and that will create the year file for me. Going to my terminal, I already have it pointing to the folder that created my year file, and if I just check, then it's there. So I'm going to deploy my application into Cloud Foundry. For first-time users of Cloud Foundry, you can just type in CF, and it'll give you a list of commands that you can do. Um, so what we'd want to do is a CF push, and essentially that's what creates your new application and pushes it to your platform. So if I do CF push, I give my application a name. In this case, I'm calling it sample rest application. I specify the path. And I'm going to do that with an environmental variable, so it's dash p, and then the path, the path to the year file, and then I can select what build pack I want to use. So if I already know the build pack name, I can type it in. So I do in this case. If I don't, I don't have to, and it'll figure it out for me. So now it will create the application and it will upload it onto your. Pivotal Cloud Foundry platform. This could take um, a couple of minutes depending on the size of your application. So now it's showing that our application has started. It gives us the running state, shows us how much memory our application is using, disk space, and it gives us a URL to actually access our endpoint. So I'm just going to open Firefox and I'm going to go to that URL. Um, because BusinessWorks uses a Swagger um, interface, we're going to add that to the URL so that we get the swagger fade. So I'm just going to go through it, check to make sure the application deployed correctly. And if you look, the values are exactly what they should be. So the name is Bob, the location is California. And yeah, that's how you would deploy a Business Works Container Edition application to Pivotal Cloud Foundry. I hope the video was useful. And thank you. Mm -hmm.